All right, it is 1137 and the meeting will return to order. 1237, sorry, I got, I've got an angle here. The next item is got to, this is going to be the last item for today because we are gonna run out of time. That is the report of the Mark Protection Committee. I am the chairman of the MPC and therefore, taking the con for the first time, Mr. Jared Dashoff. Mr. Chairman, the Mark Protection Committee report is attached. I'm not going to go into it in detail, but I do want to say that it has been an extraordinarily productive and useful year for the Mark Protection Committee. We fought off a very serious uh, and expensive challenge to one of our service marks through a potential uh, suit that was not followed up at last year's Worldcon. It cost us a lot of money, and a lot of groups, including last year's Worldcon and several other committees, donated toward it. We implemented the proposal that the last year's meeting asked us to form a, an entity to pursue registration of marks outside of the United States. Uh, it turned out that trusts aren't the right kind of legal form. They're not allowed, basically. Uh, but we did create, thanks to the cooperation of an existing nonprofit that was in the process of going out, uh, suspending operations, they saved us a lot of money. We took over their charter and Worldcon Intellectual Property a California nonprofit corporation, which is tax exempt under Section 501c3, uh, is and is completely controlled by the members of the Mark Protection Committee, was formed, and we have begun the process of registering our service marks in the EU, which is our next highest priority. In addition, we we did a budget analysis and worked out proposals, and the committee voted a resolution that will be considered later in the agenda, not today to recommend a change in the way that we are funded because the funding mechanism for the Mark Protection Committee has not changed or been adjusted since 1984 and has thoroughly gotten out of whack with inflation and the increasing amount of demands on our time. We very much want to thank those people who helped to donate, those organizations and individuals who donated money to the EU Mark, uh, reg uh, mark registration cost. And, uh, and they are listed in the agenda. Lone Star Con 3 made a special contribution. Uh, Anticipation, Kansmoff did. And uh, uh, Dave Lally personally contributed a quarter of the cost, and we're very thankful for that. That is, concludes uh, our main report, in, in oral report, I should say. And therefore, the only other business is to deal for that I know of, is, uh, unless there are questions of the MPC, which I don't think we have time for, really. The chair would note that the speaker is not the chair of the business meeting, but. <laughs> <laughs> and therefore, the next item of business, if there are no questions for the MPC, is, are there any questions? No yeah, way. he's right. <laughs> the next item of business is to open up the call for nominations for members of the Mark Protection Committee. Very good. Mr. Olson, for what purpose does the member rise? Who would you? I nominate the three members whose terms are expiring. Second. Second. Mr. Glazer. I would like to nominate Mr. Bruce Farr. He has accepted in writing. Any other nominations? Or are you just handing up? Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Seeing no other nominations, the nominations for the Mark Protection Committee are closed. The election will occur tomorrow. And now I will return. You're not talking into it. I'm not talking into it, apparently. <laughs> the election will occur tomorrow. And now I return Mr. Stanley to the chair. Yay! Yay. We'll be, he'll be back. <laughs> Just so you know, Stephen Boucher has accepted via email, and I need the acceptance of the other two people. Yes, you need to sit, come up and fill out a form for the uh, secretary. That brings us up to no more time remaining for today. 
Uh, does a member, are there members rising to for recognition for some? I see hands. Yes. I just want to know if there's going to be somewhere where the names of the people that were nominated are going to be posted that we can look at before tomorrow. Uh, they're not going to be posted anywhere. You want to re uh, read off the names again, please? Who, the, the, Stephen Boucher, Scott, Stephen Boucher, Scott Dennis, and Donald Eastlake III. And Andrew Farr. Andrew Farr. Thank you. Oh, those names. Those we can elect up to three. No, we will elect three. The, three of the four. There are three positions open for three-year terms. Are there any other questions before we adjourn for today? Uh, members need to rise to be reckoned. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Mitchell, I completely forgot. Oh, that is foolish of me. I have to return the chair. Mr. Mitchell, who has been the, the web host of, our, uh, of, the, of the Worldcon websites, was uh, scheduled to address us, and he said this is the only day he can talk to us. So, Mr. Mitchell, if you would go ahead and address and then we will adjourn after that. Thank you. George. Hi, I'm George Mitchell. It's been my honor and my pleasure to host WUSFUS.org and WorldCon.org since they were first registered over 20 years ago. And it's been fun, uh, except for email administration, which gets less fun every year. You've never heard of me which is the best indication that the current arrangement has been successful, but it's time and the society needs something more professional and permanent. I'm willing to aid and assist in, and advise in whatever way the society wishes. Thank you all. My heartfelt thanks for having had the pleasure of providing the hosting all this time. Is, is there any objection to the meeting adopting a resolution of, of suspending the rules and, adop and adopting a resolution thanking Mr. George Mitchell for his many years of service to the World Science Fiction Society? There being no objection, Mr. Mitchell, thank you very much. That brings us to the end of our allotted time for today's meeting. We have just barely managed to accomplish all of the things we are required to do as a preliminary meeting, but hardly anything else. That includes financial reports and also the, re the resolutions. We will pick up at that point where we left off in tomorrow, at tomorrow's meeting and we will not get to the constitutional amendments until after we have dealt with the remaining resolutions. Uh, our, I have a couple of announcements. Um, First of all, the committee to discuss the electronic signature amendment will meet immediately after the close of this meeting in the hallway outside this room. I believe the videographer has something. Uh, if you'll come to the microphone, Ms. Hayes. I want to tell you what an honor it is to have been able to record this, pro this meeting for the World Science Fiction Society. We have now had 85 views on the first segment of this meeting. And I'm happy now to be able to bring the meeting to the entire world. Are there any other questions regarding procedure, regarding tomorrow's meeting? Very well. It is 1245, and this meeting, the preliminary business meeting is adjourned. <laughs>